Juan Guaidó, who addressed thousands of his supporters in Caracas, said today's nationwide street demonstrations are what he has called the first steps of Operation Freedom, massive street protests to let Venezuela's government know they are not going to get used to live with power rationing, constant power failures, shortages of food, medicine and water, high crime rates and hyperinflation. Guaidó, whom the pro-government constituent assembly stripped from his parliamentary immunity, said the government wants him behind bars, but he has said he is not afraid of it. Guaidó said no matter what, his uh, supporters must continue taking to the streets until democracy is restored in Venezuela. The Venezuelan opposition is asking the Venezuelan government to step down, but President Nicolás Maduro says he's going nowhere. The Venezuelan government also called on its supporters to take to the streets to defend Venezuela's democracy and to let the world know Mr. Maduro's government won't allow any international intervention in Venezuela. The Venezuelan government has accused Juan Guaidó of inciting violence and leading a coup with the help of the U.S. Juan Guaidó said and has called on his supporters to take to the streets next Wednesday. He wants to double the number of people who protested today. He said street demonstrations will only increase from now on and that protests represent 80% of his plans to restore democracy in Venezuela. The rest, as he said, comes from the support of Venezuela's armed forces and international cooperation. But we are yet to see if Venezuelan armed forces, which remain loyal to President Nicolás Maduro, will indeed follow Guaidó's call. Next week, members of the European Union Parliament and the Security Council from the United Nations will hold meetings to discuss Venezuela's situation. The Venezuelan government said they are prepared to defend the country and they are likely to call on their supporters to take to the streets next week as well. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.